What's up guys, JDog back here again and we are back here for another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to install Forge 1.19 to your Minecraft server. So there's going to be two ways that I'm going to be showing you here if you are already on Forge 1.18.2 and you're simply just looking to update uh, to Forge 1.19, we can do that quite easily. Just bear in mind that your mods will need to match, so we can move the server jar over, however if your mods are all for 1.18.2 they won't work, so just make sure to switch them over as well. So if your server jar is already on Forge 1.19 it's simply a case of stopping your server first once it's stopped you're going to come down to the server jar and you simply just got to choose forge 1.19 hit save on the panel there um, and then start your server back up at that point you need to make sure that your mods are adjusted to actually suit forge.119 however if that's not the case and you've just started up a brand new server which means that you're going to be started up here with seacoast with the default minecraft server 1.19 or whatever the uh, latest update is or you simply want to clear all your old files from your server and just start with a brand new forge 1.19 server this is how we're going to do it right now and it only takes another extra few clicks so now with the server stop we're going to come down to files and we're going to go over to setup from here we're going to choose clean mod directories and plugins and we're also going to click on the uh, delete all server files from here it's going to ask your multicraft password so just put that in and then click apply once applied it's going to let you know that on the next server start up it will now run this so once we do start or restart the server back up it will now delete all the old server files and folders mod directories plugins that we had in the previous server now all we've got to do much like before we're going to come down we're going to look at forge and we're going to get 1.19 um, installed there for the server jar select it we're then going to hit save and then once it is saved we're simply going to start the server back up now once this is started up it's going to start up with a forge.1.19 jar it's going to have all the relevant files libraries uh, mod folders all you got to do now is just make sure that you upload the relevant mods have the matching mods on your uh, pc on your client side whether you're using cursed forge whether you're just uploading them yourself and then log on using the same versions so it matches with the server now that will start up you can get on going you can start downloading uploading the mods to the server and playing with your friends and if you haven't got yourself a server yet come on over to seekerhost.co we have got some great deals you can also use code 25 off for a 25 percent off discount i'll leave that down in the description and the link to seekerhost as well you grab yourself a small server just to play with a few friends or a whopping great big server to have multiple worlds on hundreds of people and many plugins and mods so thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time bye bye